Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series on pharmacological classification of drugs. In this video, I will explain the drug treatment of angina pectoris. I will include the newer drugs also. Now, let us understand the word angina pectoris. Angina means strangulating or pressing pain. Pectoris comes from pectoris girdle which is nothing but chest. So literally the word translates to chest pain. In fact, angina pectoris is a symptom of an underlying disease known as ischemic heart disease. Ischemia means decreased blood supply. That means when there is a decreased blood supply to the heart, it gives a pressing pain that is angina pectoris. So the main causes are reduced blood supply or increased oxygen demand. So the treatment goes with the first class is organic nitrates. Organic nitrates increase the blood circulation, blood flow to the heart. So they relieve chest pain. Drugs glyceryl trinitrate also known as nitroglycerin isosorbide dinitrate isosorbide mononitrate now the next one beta blockers will reduce the oxygen demand beta blockers like propranolol etanolol esmolol are used the next class is calcium channel blockers calcium channel blockers also increase blood supply to the heart drugs like verapamil diltiazem and nifedipine amlodipine kind of drugs now after that see a particular type of angina is known as unstable angina this unstable angina is caused by platelet aggregation. So antiplatelet agents are also used to treat angina pectoris. Drugs like aspirin, clopidogrel, aptifibatide, tirofiban, abseximab, drugs are used. Now the next one is special kind of drugs. There are certain drugs which will block sodium channels in the heart. When sodium channels in the heart are blocked, oxygen demand is reduced. Drugs like ranolazine, evabredin comes under this class. There is an another drug which is known as potassium channel opener. When potassium channel is open, cells undergo hyperpolarization and the oxygen demand is reduced. Drugs like nicorandil does this action. Now the last class is known as partial fatty, fatty oxidation inhibitors. Trimetazidine is example for this class. Now let us understand the mechanism. See, heart can get energy either by glycolysis or by fatty acid oxidation. When heart gets energy from fatty acid oxidation, it utilizes a lot of oxygen. That means it requires a lot of blood supply. Trimetazidine inhibits this partial fatty oxidation and heart cells are forced to go with glycolysis. When heart cells get energy from glycolysis, glycolysis doesn't require oxygen. So without less demand of oxygen or without less blood supply, heart cells can work efficiently. This is what is the mechanism of action of trimetazidine. So this is about angina pectoris. As I told you, angina pectoris is a symptom of an underlying disease known as ischemic heart disease. Thank you.